You know how AI can feel a little intimidating? Like there's so much hype that it's hard to find what's actually useful. Well, I'm here to solve that. Today, I wanna to give you three free practical steps that can help you along in this journey. Early on when AI started making news, I saw these huge catastrophic headlines that didn't feel great. Maybe you felt this way, like a little bit of anxiety. And my first instinct was to just ignore it, which was the opposite of what was helpful. But soon after that, my curiosity kicked in and I began wondering, can it really be as insane as all the marketing says? So I dove deep and consumed a lot of content. And what I discovered was fascinating. AI is powerful, but it's also in the early stages. Most of the use cases for artists and creators isn't even close to job ending. If anything, it's actually freeing. I have personally experienced huge jumps in efficiency and often it's with tasks that I didn't really want to do anyway. If you haven't worked with the tools, I don't blame you if it feels mysterious. But once you get to know them and harness them, it's actually empowering. However, here's the thing. There's a tipping point coming, and it might not be tomorrow or next week, but there will come this dividing point where artists who embrace AI are going to have a massive leap ahead of the competition, while those who ignore it will be doing so at their own peril. So if you felt resistant in the past, there's a good chance that it's because most of this marketing material you've been seeing is by tech bros wanting investors and funding, right? They don't care about artists, but I do. I want your success and the success of other creators and artists. I believe that anyone can understand and harness these tools for their benefit. First up is ChatGPT. You've probably heard of it. I think of it as like the gold standard when it comes to conversational AI. It is my go-to tool and I spend most of my time there. It's great at explaining difficult concepts and asking interactive questions while producing natural replies. The next is Poe. I feel like not a lot of people have heard about Poe. While there are some paid features in it, it offers a lot of functionality within its free usage. And one of the core features is Poe has access to ChatGPT even when demand is high. So sometimes if you're using the free version of ChatGPT, you'll bounce out of the system when there's a lot of users. Poe is a great backup. Also included in Poe is a chatbot called Claude. Claude can handle a lot longer inputs. So I like Claude when I'm feeding it a bunch of information. We'll talk about that more in the future, but it's pretty cool. Last but not least is Bing Chat. It's a really unique blend of chatbot and a search engine, and it lists results in easy to access links and sources. So it's a fascinating tool when you're searching for recently published information. The downside is it's only available on the Edge browser. I know, right? Who is using the Edge browser? And I'm not throwing shade if you do, which is if you don't have the Edge browser already installed, you're gonna need to do it. So once again, instructions are on my free resource page. Now I understand that having access to these tools is different from understanding how to harness their power. And many people are really struggling with that right now. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In my next video, I'm going to be diving into a super practical use case that you can immediately put into practice. It's going to be awesome. Now, I wanna hear from you. What questions do you have? Drop your questions in the comments. And in order to not miss the next video, you can subscribe, but an even better method would be to join my free email updates. So when you click on my free resource page, dropping your email in there will get you a guaranteed heads up when the next video goes live so that you're not at the mercy of the, uh, the YouTube algorithm. The example I'm gonna show you in the next video was one of those moments where I went, holy cow, this is pretty amazing. So stay tuned. I think you're going to love what's next.